but he is my service dog Gabriel. And today we are going to answer your questions about PTSD because it is PTSD Awareness Day. So let's get started. Late at night. a very personal question honestly it's kind of like asking somebody in a wheelchair to say why they're in a wheelchair it, you just wouldn't do that uh i do talk more about it in an older video that suicide quote links in the month or suicide awareness month whatever it's called and that i made back in september and I will have that linked in the description if you're interested in learning more about what caused it and what led to it. But it just is like an actual talking one. Like that's like I wrote it down and then like did on note cards. It was like taunting in note cards. Like it's just pictures of note cards with music in the background. So if you want to, you're welcome to check out that video. Just don't hate on it because that is my story, that is what happened. I have been diagnosed by multiple health professionals. So don't be rude. You will be your phone will be deleted if you're rude about it. So yeah. We both got one. On my lap. I say that it's not a joke to say you're gonna give me PTSD, like no, like, people seriously give PTSD, people PTSD, and it's not from holding the feelings one little time. Like, it's not funny. And I would also say that it's definitely not a choice to have PTSD. It's not fun to take medicine daily. It's not fun to have a dog with you everywhere you go. A lot of people think it is, but it's not. Like, it's not fun it's not fun to take medicine, it's not fun to go therapy, it's not fun to have a dog. <laughs> I, I think I just repeat myself but it's, with like everything I do for my PTSD, but it's definitely not fun and, and it's not a choice. Like anyone wishes they could turn back time and have taken steps to prevent that trauma. So yeah. I was diagnosed in September. Of 2017, I don't know that, I can't remember the exact date. It was like my first therapy session. But, I had symptoms beginning in August 2017. But, but my breaking point, if you will, was September 4th. Like, that's when I completely broke. And, again, I go into more detail in the, the suicide prevention video because it's really painful to actually talk about it. I'm better at like finding out my feelings, which I did a suicide story that style. So yeah. Well, like I know a lot of people who ask this question of people with PTSD want coping strategies. Honestly, investing in a service dog, whether that's time, my own training, or money, by programs, it's, like, you know, amazing. Like, they, they help so much, and yeah, I highly recommend it. I have to say the absolute hardest thing is... People who think they're going to give you helpful advice, but the advice is actually very helpful. For example, telling me to just grow up or stop being so sensitive. Like, I, I can't. Like, if I could, I would. It, I wish it was that simple. But it's not. It's complex. Complex PTSD. And even regular or combat PTSD is more challenging than that. Like, yeah. And also, I definitely say the flashbacks are very hard. Like, before I got Gabriel, I was in up in the emergency room. 
multiple times because of anxiety so and panic attacks so yeah Gable's definitely gonna help out I have not been to the multiple room once since having him we've been close a few times but he's always dumped in and saved the day well just in time so yeah Gabriel helps with PTSD by, I consider a medical response and sensory relief, um, not actually medical, well, soft response and sensory relief. He does, at least a multiple for soft stock, but he helps, like, he can a lot to an anxiety attack, which is, like, just caused by general stress, like, the beginning of it. He does help a lot to that, but if as far as PTSD goes, he can't only really want to a total flashback because for me it happens like that. Like I mean probably by one moment and then I'll heal something or a sound or even anything. It can be anything. See someone and boom I'm having a flashback. Like it doesn't even have to be the exact same wolf. <laughs> we just have a guess all day with a baby of a song. Boom I'm having a flashback. So yeah, it happens really fast. But he does respond to my flashbacks by licking my face, by doing deep pressure therapy, which is using his body weight to calm me, licking my face is called grounding. Um, that's what I call it anyway. And then he also does blocking and covering, which for us as a team, cover is in front, block is in the back. Some teams just say front and back, but he was trained to sit down in those positions, and I don't like that. Like, I feel like he looks more intimidating <laughs> standing up. He's not intimidating at all. He's like a big teddy bear, <laughs> but um, off duty. But on duty, he he's protecting me and just helps me feel safe. That way, that's not a task. Solar source cannot be trained in protection, but if they help you feel safe, and they'll tasking like that, then yeah, that is a task. But if they just help you feel safe just by being there, that's not a task. I hope that makes sense. And he turns on lights for me. Uh, this light we got a special light switch in my room because my house is like very old, and it had like turning light switches. Like you had to turn the knob. So we I got a new light switch in my room out of the deal. So, more than my foot, so, yeah. Um, he can wake me up from nightmares by turning on the light and then coming up to my bed and licking my face and doing deep pressure. Stop that. Stop it. Um, he can find safety when I get overwhelmed. Well, he's learning to find my big sister for us, our whole apartment, because she doesn't wake up when I have nightmares, and so he needs to know, find her, wake her up. But right now, we're just working on finding her, then we'll build up to waking her up. So, yeah. This question for last, because I know I get kind of emotional. Um, PTSD has definitely changed my life. For one, I have to have a dog with me everywhere I go now, and that's a huge change. But I saw it's like, personally affecting my life. I'm like cutting game as I talk. But as far as like personally affecting my life, I can't watch my full favorite movie. I can't listen to my full favorite songs. Like and as other than that, like full favorite things being triggered, it's like I've almost lost multiple friends multiple times because they just don't understand. Twiggle, they don't understand. Like I said, they try to give helpful advice, but it's helpful. But well, I was able to make up with one of them recently, actually. So that's like a huge relief. But yeah. Eva, yeah, I mean, it's so good. He, he just but, yeah, this is my life, and I love it. I love my dog. I don't love my life all of that, but I do love... Stop that. You don't get a two. No. 
of the two that he has is going to camp next week, and he's like, oh, I want one. No, they'll both camp, silly. Anyway, um, yeah, I definitely wouldn't, well, I definitely would come back time if I, if I could, but I can't. So, yeah, we will see you guys in our next video. Oh, bye. Bye.